This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Wednesday, May the 8th, 2019. Two and a quarter saints were born today. First, St. Peter Canisius, who we talked about on his feast day in April, was born in the Netherlands in 1521. Then, St. John Vianney, the patron saint of parish priests, also called the Cure of Ars, was born in the region of Lyon, France, in 1786. He came up toward the end of the French Revolution and spent most of his life picking up the pieces, culturally and religiously, of all of those sorts of things in the rural parts of France. His reputation is a bit wonky in the U.S. Just like teachers in the U.S. tend to tell the apocryphal story of Albert Einstein failing math in middle school, teachers tend to talk up about how John Vianney struggled with Latin in his religious studies. And this causes some people to think of him as a kind of saintly dolt. In reality, he was a voracious reader and stayed up late into the night reading the tiny print of his rather impressive library by the light of a single candle and bringing all of that study to bear in his impressive sermons. He was a voracious pastor as well as a studier. He preached hard often raising his voice, bursting into tears, and going on for 30 or 40 minutes. He was deeply disliked at the beginning. The owners of the four local taverns used to throw rotten fruit through the windows of his house in retaliation for the pastor telling people not to go to the drunk houses. As time passed, though, the people realized how much he loved them and sacrificed for them. And after 10 or so years, with little to show for his efforts, the people started coming back to church and to faith. Vianney would sit in the confessional for hours, waiting and waiting. By year 20, he was hearing hundreds of confessions a day. By his 30th year in the parish, the railroad had to build a special line into his village just to accommodate the massive number of people coming to spend just a moment with him in the confessional. By his death around year 42 or so, he was sleeping only an hour or two a night, eating a single pan-fried potato per day, and hearing confessions for as many as 18 hours every day of every week. His story really is astounding. Our one-quarter saint today is the beloved American Archbishop Fulton J. Sheen. Born in 1895 in Peoria, Illinois, he went to Europe and got all the degrees. He was, at his time, the most academically decorated American priest in the world. He taught at American University and got connected with the radio there. Then he was selected as a bishop and found his way onto the nascent technology of broadcast television. His primetime program was called Life is Worth Living, and he was truly larger than life. He headed up the American and the Universal Society for the Propagation of the Faith, His zeal and his unflinching teaching of the truth ran him headlong into some major obstacles, though. Ultimately, that's why I'm calling him a quarter of a saint. In the 50s, Sheen refused to play political ball with the incredibly powerful Cardinal Spellman. In the 1970s, Sheen had the audacity to question many of the ways in which the American bishops implemented Vatican II. He spoke against Saul Alinsky and his protected enclave at Notre Dame in South Bend. He pointed out the fall-off in mass attendance and confessions. He was a man of the church who didn't care about seeing his name in lights at St. Peter's Square, and he was all but blackballed by many American bishops for saying what an awful lot of people were thinking. His canonization has been held up for years over technicalities, but recent legal action means that he may well be blessed Fulton Sheen soon. And finally today, it's VE Day, Victory in Europe Day celebrates the signing of the unconditional surrender of Nazi Germany's armed forces today in 1945. While everyone knew the war was coming to an end for six months or so, the real finality was the suicide of Chancellor Adolf Hitler on April the 30th during the Battle of Berlin. Admiral Karl Dönitz signed the papers at Rems in the early morning of May the 7th. The ceremonial signing of the mostly identical document was witnessed in Berlin today. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.